Hi there, my name is David Deutsch, I'm the founder of Search Titans, partner of SEM Rush Japan. So, this video is all about search engine optimization and, S uh, and SEM Rush, and how you can use SEM Rush to improve your SEO. Okay, so SEM Rush has been classified and rewarded as the best SEO research tool in the world 2015, 16, and 17, and I just strongly suspect 2018 as well. And the reason that they've been awarded the best is because they constantly upgrade the software. They don't just wait around and hope for everything to, to, be, the same, to be the same. Every month, they update their, their software with dozens and dozens of new tools for professionals to use. Um, and that's what makes them uh, so particularly incredible. All right. Now, the first thing that we do with uh, with SEM Rush is we set up the um, the site audit uh, tool within the projects um, within the SEM Rush projects, and that'll tell us everything there is to know about the technical side of your website regarding SEO. It'll tell you how many pages there are. It'll tell you everything that there is wrong and everything's right uh, regarding SEO for your website. And that's the site audit. It takes a few minutes to set up. The second tool is the position, the keyword position tracking tool. Now that's fun. That's really, really great because now you get to take a, a list of keywords that you have to research first. You have to do your keyword research before you use that. Once you do your keyword research, you get to upload the keywords you want to target forever and put it in the keyword position tracking tool. Now be careful. You don't want to just put 10,000 keywords into that tool because first you're going to use up all your credits within SEM Rush, and secondly, it only works if you target the keywords in the position tool, if you target the keywords that you're optimizing on your website. Because if you're only tracking keywords for fun, then the tool's not going to work. So you can only put keywords in the position tracking tool that are already on your website, that are already ranking, or that you want to rank. Because the position tracking tool is linked to the uh, SEO ideas tool, which is the third tool in the SEM Rush uh, Projects toolkit. Now, the SEO keyword data, keyword research, you could use Google AdWords keyword research, of course, but the keyword magic tool of SEM Rush is magic. It's really amazing. You put in a few keywords, what we call root keywords, cornerstone keywords, into the keyword magic tool, and it'll pump out all of the relevant keywords in your language, in your country, for that particular keyword. Because it doesn't matter what you think. Now, I'm sorry, I know it's a little bit rude to say that, but it doesn't matter if you think that one keyword is your keyword. It's not. Your consumers, only your consumers can decide if a keyword is best suited to your business, and that's it. It's not even Google's decision, it's not your decision, it's your consumer's decision. If they type in butter, and they land on your website, and you only sell salted butter, they're all going to bounce, leave, and they're never going to come back. You know why? Because you don't sell butter. But you say, do I sell salted butter? No, you don't. You sell salted butter. That's not the same thing as normal butter, okay? My mother, she has, she can't, uh, she has a heart problem, high blood pressure, or something like that. She's not allowed to have salted butter. So as soon as she lands on your website after typing in butter, she has to leave. And now you've just upset my mom. Good job. Good job. See what you've done now? You made her cry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so the point being is this. When you do your keyword research, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little silly sometimes, I know. When you're doing your keyword research, you want to find out what people are typing in when they're looking for your product. That's what keyword research is all about. And then you want to see how many people actually type in each of those keywords. But that's not where the story ends. Now you want to know how much money your competitors are willing to pay to be in position one for that keyword. Wait, why do you want to know that? I'll tell you why. If your competitors are paying 25 bucks to be in position one for a keyword that only gets 10 searches a month, are they crazy or are they geniuses? Well, I'll tell you what, consumers 
will most often type in very long tail keywords at the very last moment that they choose to make a purchase. Those long tail keywords are not often uh, repeated often, uh, they're not often repeated time and time again. Everybody types in butter when they're looking for butter. But there are millions of different kinds of butter out there, which means that there are millions of keywords. And that means that each consumer is going gonna, is gonna to go off in, uh, in a different direction and start typing in different kinds of keywords to find the butter that best suits their particular needs. And if you don't represent, if the keyword that they type in that makes them land on your website is not exactly what they're looking for, you just wasted your time and your money. Now your competitors, they are paying attention and they often know which of those keywords, the big ones, even if they only get a little bit of searches per month, those are the ones that you want because they're always going to turn into sales. Out of 10 searches per month, you're going to get 5 clicks and you're going to get 5 sales. But the best part about getting a sale online is, is consumer loyalty. A keyword, even if it gets 10 searches a month, can get you one customer a month, but that customer may come back to you several times a month for the rest of his life. He might be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars to you over the next 20 years. So 10 searches a month might actually be a lot more money than you think. And that's what keyword research is all about. Collecting the keyword data on SEMrush is the easiest way to identify the best possible keywords and the highest potential profit margins. Now, search titans, we're experts at doing keyword research. We're experts at doing it because we take all of those keywords and we put it into a proprietary algorithm on an Excel sheet, a very complicated Excel sheet, that calculates the likelihood of your website getting sales for each keyword in the list before we choose to put them on your website. Now how's that for cool, huh? Isn't that awesome? That's what we do for you. That's included in the tactical strategy, which is free by the way. All you gotta do is sign up to SEM Rush. I'm not selling. Okay, maybe I am, but whatever. You don't gotta pay me, man. Just pay SEM Rush, get the software, we'll set you up with a tactical strategy and we'll give you this Excel sheet that's really, really cool. What it does is it gives you uh, this, the, uh, the keywords, the searches per month, just like everybody else, the competition, the average cost per click, which is more or less useful, and then we really, get, we really kick in the gear. We calculate your potential conversion rate. Like if your conversion rate is like 3% on average across all of the traffic that you get, we'll take your average conversion rate and we'll we have an algorithm that will calculate the potential conversion rate of each keyword in the list before you target it. That way, you'll know that butter is actually going to give you a 0.02% conversion rate because it's too wide, it's too broad. You shouldn't target that keyword. However, salted toast butter, salted toast butter, which only gets 20 searches a month in Japan, well, that keyword has a 45% conversion rate potential. What? That's right. Which means you could probably get something like nine sales a month from salted toast butter instead of no sales from butter on its own. But that's not where we stop. You see, my algorithm, it goes all the way through the rest of the data for the rest of the year. Each month there's more and more information about each keyword. And so it'll tell me how many sales you're going to get each month from that keyword. It'll calculate the average revenue that you can expect from that keyword, depending again on how much return business you can expect. If you sell salted butter, you can expect about four sales a month, which makes your average uh, order value to be about, I don't know, something like $35 a month, maybe 40 bucks a month. And so we'll calculate that revenue over the course of a year. And we'll tell you from search from SEO, if you put in, like let's say you put in a lot of work into your SEO just for one page, just for one keyword targeting salted toast butter, and you make sure we make sure you're in position one, over the course of a year, we're, it's going to turn out that you're going to get something like 110 sales. Proprietary uh, techniques and 
um, Excel sheets to collect the data, the keyword research, put it together, and come up with the best possible keywords for your business. We prioritize those keywords based on your profit margin potential, based on your consumer market. We will target the consumer market that will bring you the most profits for the least amount of investment, and then we'll work with the rest of your market. We will make sure that you have the highest market share at the highest profitability rate. And we will do so using SEM Rush. Now, when it comes to Japan, Search Titans will be the only company in the world with access to a database of 12.3 million Japanese only keywords. Which means that our keyword research is always going to be better than all of the keyword research that any other company in the world can produce. Even Google will not have the kind of information that Search Titans will have because we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars buying that information from SEM Rush. Sign up to SEM Rush and you will also have access to that database with us and we will develop a strategy for you that will put you far ahead of your competitors in SEO and SEM, search engine marketing and search engine optimization. We look forward to hearing from you. All right, that's it for this. Uh,